Story 7 News reporter Dan Lindblad was at that ceremony. He joins us now live from Altus. Dan, what makes this court so special? Well, Dave, as you mentioned, the Thunder have donated 10 courts, but this is the first one outside of the greater Oklahoma City metro area. I'm joined now by Dan Goodson III, who really, it's your responsibility for this. You got the ball rolling on this whole job. What was that process like? Man, I mean, it started with a dream, and then, as you can see, it's still a dream because I'm still in shock, but all I had to do was write a proposal, let them know how bad my city wanted it, let them know how bad we needed it, and it got approved like that, so... It's been amazing so far, sir. It's been amazing. And what does it mean that the Thunder are right there and they're willing to help these communities? It means a lot because, I mean, every, everyone sees the OKC Thunder play on basketball, the, the TV, all the time. So to see them on TV and then for, for them now to be right here on your front step, it's a big, it's a big deal, man. It's a big deal. And it, it means a lot to these kids. Like a lot of these adults out here, we love them as well. But to the kids that's growing up watching them, it means the world to them. So I'm just happy to be a part of that. And we were talking earlier, you coach rec basketball. You've grown up with a basketball in your hand. What does basketball mean to you personally? As man means the world. Like, I started about three years old. I never put a basketball down since. And here I am, 28, still chasing my dreams, still playing basketball, still living life, man. It's, just, it's something about it that I just, can't get, I just can't get enough of. So I want to start that same mentality, that same drive into my community with these kids. So. I feel like it can it can help out a lot. So, yes, sir. And what do you hope the kids will get out of this? Hope the kids take back memories. I hope the kids enjoy the sport more. I hope the kids come out here and use the court. Get get off of Facebook. Come out here. You know what I'm saying? Get off the computer. Hope the kids just enjoy it, man. Like I wish I had somebody like that when I was younger to build a court for us. But I'm just I'm just like blessed to do it for the younger generation of today. And if you could take us back to what this court looked like before the renovation process? Man, it was old, it was dusty, it had cracks in it, it had dirt on, on it, it had grass on the court, the backboards were broken in half, it had holes in it, it, had, it was everything you can name, chips, uh, potholes, everything. But now, in about seven days, the Thunder built this court for us, and now you can see none of that is here no more, so it was ugly, sir, and now that we're here, it's a blessing to watch it. All right, well, thank you very much. I'm sure this means a lot to Altus, and you're a big idol to some of these kids out here. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Thank you. And again, this court just got dedicated. It's been open for a couple of days, but now the process is complete. Reporting live at Hoyt Shaded Park in Altus, Dan Lindblad, 7 News.